Who is Princess Daisy? Oh, now I'm curious. I don't want to fall down this rabbit hole. I'm mad here. Who is she, dude? Coney, Peach, Daisy, or Rosa? I'm a Daisy guy. Uh, Rosa's the worst. Rosalina clears? I just... She doesn't do anything. Rosalina doesn't do anything. She just stands there. She's just an animatronic. What does Peach do? Generally be feminine. <laughs> Peach it, it just is Mario, but a girl. she just generally exists. Rosa just stands there like this. Ooh. I don't know what her, her thing is. And Daisy is like fun and upbeat and spunky. What about Pauline? What about Pauline? She's the mayor, right? I don't, I don't know. They brought her back so people would soy face. <laughs> Remember this? She's back and she's the mayor. Girls get it done. Yo. <laughs> All right, fine. Fine. Let's hey, figure everyone. it out. We'll figure it out. It's it's a short one. Who the f is Daisy? This what's is a her deal? Of Sarasaland. It's got this knockoff Goomba, a Sphinx, pyramids, this weird Moai statue that ever. Yo! <laughs> There's my guy. Hey, hoy hoy, hoy hoy, ahoy hoy. That's the sound Mr. Burns makes when he answers the phone. <laughs> ahoy hoy. <laughs> and Princess Daisy. I remember that being really controversial. She touches her b b b butt. How do you guys feel about this Daisy design? I like her with the tan. Tan Daisy rules. She's the sassier, more outspoken princess within the franchise, and in my opinion, grossly underutilized. But how did she come to be? And why does Nintendo restrict her to sports games and spin-offs? Let's take a deeper dive into her origins. Oh, Daisy it's Daisy. It's no secret that Princess Daisy made her debut why in the- Why does she look like that? Mario, are you saving a doll? Mario's trying to get back his real doll which was stolen from him. It would be very embarrassing if anybody found out. He will go to any length to return that. Has to make sure Peach doesn't discover it. This alien is trying to expose him. What's this guy's deal? Oh, aren't those like yokai? Like the like the guy from Darkstalkers. You know the one. It's Chinese, Chinese zombie, Chinese vampire, Chinese ghost, Chinese spirit. Hopping zombie vampires. What the fuck are you talking about? I mean, this, this, this girl. Is it this? I am not scrolling down. Yeah? All right. Actually, let me address this one time because I had a vocal minority getting pretty upset that I referred to this title as Super Mario Bros. But it got to the point where people were condescendingly telling me the definition of an abbreviation in the comment section. Dude, I'm I'm so glad that nobody has to believe or think anything that I say is real or true. I can't imagine being a content creator and having people in your comments being obnoxious that happened at pg stats actually they would cover tournaments and be like oh you actually forgot about this one uh 60 man local from uh 2019 dr mario won this tournament so actually that's the most impressive result he ever had no man like we're not actually nana was the lead there that's another one yep yep actually coney that's nana not popo shut the fuck up I'm surprised you don't get people taking you seriously. I actually don't. You're right. It's actually not not common at all. But I think it's because I've, I have a reputation for not for lying a lot of the time, you know? Princess Daisy was intended to play a similar role as the damsel in distress in Super Mario Land. So this story kicks off with an Yo, evil it's space that alien! alien. Topanga, invading Sarasaland with his what has he been Enter up to? Mario. Who will go on a journey to each of he Sarasa just lost Land's one game and dude i would think that was a mushroom Enter mario what do the mushrooms look like i would pick that shit up i would eat these goombas Sarasa did he Land's die he's an alien how do you know he might bring not peace die back to the nation he might it's be a like, a, simple like, story like a space overall, jellyfish but i always loved how different the aesthetic was here because there was so much weird shit going on here like these things here they're called goombos they operate goombos? and look very similar to goombas but the change is just subtle enough for this to look off-putting and if okay What's the other one? What are the new Goombas that are in? Is it uh, new Galoombas? I hate these things so much. I hate Galoombas. Oh, wait. Galoomba was in Mario's Mario World. Oh, it was, wasn't it? They're from Mario World? Really? I hate them, though. I just want normal Goombas. You guys want to see the best designed normal enemy in any game ever? This guy right here. I love Bulborbs. They go, Brrr! They're so cute, dude. What about the bread bug? I literally searched that right before this to remember what the bread bug looks like. It's disgusting. I hate the bread bug. Also, <laughs> I, I literally started playing Pikmin 2 again today, and I fought this motherfucker? I forgot about the gimmick, and I died. In this fight, literally, it, it kills your whole army instantly. And it's it says Pikmin Extinction, and I had to reload. I lost all my Pikmin.
it's weird because Pikmin is like one of my favorite series, but I know nothing about it and I don't like try to absorb all the info, which to me makes it cooler because I'm still surprised when I see shit. You know what I mean? Let's quickly discuss the creation of Daisy and how Super yeah, Mario Land was set into about. motion. Tell me about Super Daisy. Mario Land was a project developed by Nintendo Research and Development One. So to promote the release of the Game Boy in April 1989, Nintendo CEO at the time wanted a set of fun launch titles that would help bolster those console sales. Surprisingly, Miyamoto would not be involved in this project at all, which may explain some of the strikingly different creative liberties that we see throughout the end product. Are those people just hopping? Oh, those are the hopping Chinese vampires. I see. Hopping Chinese vampires. You're right. I was like, is Mario killing people? Like humans? Mario hates the Chinese. No, no. Mario hates the undead. They wanted a new setting for the game, far away from the Mushroom Kingdom. Probably to explain away some of these jarring line art backgrounds. But with that in mind, a brand new damsel in distress was created. Princess Daisy. From the very beginning, Daisy was described as an energetic tomboy. Though I'm sure it was hard to depict this on a Game Boy screen. <laughs> Her name... I, I can't see the four bit aesthetic without thinking of Five Nights. Don't act up. Why are you acting up? It's literally like 12 pixels. One, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five. The, her face is 20 pixels. Is it the hair? The hair does it. Yo, that plunging neckline, though. It's a tank top. There's not a plunging neckline. It's There would be one less pixel here, and that would actually denote cleavage. Either way, Super Mario Land would become the fourth best-selling Game Boy game, pushing 18 million copies worldwide. Damn! Pokemon Pinball is the number seven best-selling Game Boy game? That's crazy. That's a great game. I love Pokemon Pinball. Mario takes out the four bosses, King Totomesu, Dragon Zamasu, Hiyohoi, and Biokintan. I think it's Biokinton. By the way, Biokinton here is just a straight up cloud, which I thought was really <laughs> different from the rest of the bosses. But his bio states that he's just really shy and the actual Biokinton is hiding Aww. behind the cloud. It actually looked like Sarasa Land was planned to be one of Mario's destinations within Super Mario I can't Odyssey. Believe it wasn't. We can see in some of the concept art, the Moai statues and some of the mountains that are found in Chai Kingdom oh, within yeah. the concept what? art itself. But it looks like Nintendo dropped the idea and went with other concepts instead. Oh, go to Sarasa Land! It'll be in two. No, won't. you always say that. But everybody's like, oh, Delfino Isle, Odyssey DLC. It's not happening, man. People thought they were going to be, we're going to go to Delfino Isle. It hasn't happened. Where's my Delfino? I want to see Piantas on the Switch. Do that stupid little dance. <laughs> and throw me in HD. I hate Nintendo. People complained about how short this game was back in the day, and I, I can see why. Anyway, Mario fights in his game? airplane, the Sky Pop, to shoot down the alien invader, oh, he and finally it. he saves Princess oh, Daisy, Daisy once Daisy. and for all. I gotta point out Mario's no. dialogue here real quick. Oh, Daisy. Oh, Daisy. But seriously, the relationship between Mario and Daisy around this time was kind of up in the air. There's a manga where there's a love triangle between Mario, Peach, and Daisy, which leads to some fun panels with Peach and Daisy feuding over Mario. But we'll, we'll talk more about this manga a little bit later in the video. So after Mario saves Daisy the in game, they fly away in his jet oh and my. we never see her featured in a proper Super Mario game again. Unless you count her costume in Super Mario Maker. No, I don't. Or Super Mario no, Run. Daisy would make her official second appearance as Luigi's caddy in NES Open Aww. Tournament Golf, released for the NES That's in 1991, sweet. where they get to face off with terrifying... What? Is that DK? I've never played Mario Golf. I, I don't know anything about... Is, is DK like the guy running the booth? This might be the first instance where it's hinted that there's a little more going on between Luigi and Ooh. Daisy here. Did you guys know? Did you guys know that Mona from WarioWare is uh, the daughter of Luigi and Daisy? Did you know that? It's true. Look it up. Poor Mario Stop here it. is it's wondering true. how he's hit a wall with no, Peach so many true. times. I, no, it's true. No, I didn't Daisy make it up. Into the vault for almost I didn't 10 make it up. Until her next I didn't make it up. It's real. It's real. It's real. Did you guys not see the picture? Linker, it's fake. Are you kidding? Hold on. This is a photo of Mona's parents from WarioWare Switch. Mmm, real quiet now, huh? Real quiet now, bro, that's Shaggy. No, that's Luigi. That does not look like them. Huh? That's Luigi and Daisy. It could be no one else. Luigi ain't that tall. That is literally Luigi's defining character trait. That's Bob's Burgers. <laughs> Kinda does look like Bob and Linda, doesn't it? No, no, no. Mona Pizza is Luigi and Daisy's daughter, and good for them.
They raised and a little a sports title called lady. Mario Tennis for the Nintendo 64, developed by Camelot. While Camelot would go on to develop Golden Sun and most of the Mario Golden Tennis Ooh. and Golf games from that point on, it's pretty interesting that I they used to be a dev team at Smash. Sega. Anyway, while they were building out so the roster stupid. for Mario Tennis, they originally wanted to bring <laughs> so in a rival to Peach. Something similar to Wario and Waluigi, who debuted in this game by the way, but we'll get to him in another video. But Nintendo didn't like the I idea of giving Peach the video. Wario treatment, so they gave Camelot Daisy to work with instead, who would become the doubles Wario partner for Peach. Luigi. Funny enough, Camelot actually wanted to milk this further and asked Miyamoto if they could feature girlfriends for Wario and Waluigi, but Miyamoto no. politely told them to go fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. Personally, I'm really Wario's interested Daisy. to see the concept art for that Peach counterpart that made Nintendo turn the idea. Can you think of a sadder existence than being a bob -omb? Yeah. bob aren't sentient. bob are, like, made in a factory. Yeah, Pikmin is worse. Although, no, I think Pikmin are, like, ants or bees. Like, they're born with the instinct to give themselves for the colony. Bobby and Paper Mario. That doesn't count. He was... Everybody brings up the Paper Mario bomb that killed himself or whatever. I don't remember what happened in that game. The bombs talk in 64. Oh, yeah, they do, don't they? That doesn't mean that they can't be built. There are robots and androids that communicate. They are assembled. Well, they have a king. They drive this character through the ranks until he's ready to face the Mario characters. And well, got they, Daisy built, they built the king, too. They built the king, and they programmed them all to be uh, to be deferential to the king. So after this, this opened the floodgates the for king Princess was a Daisy to start being nuke. featured in other spin-off titles to pad out. Could you imagine how much how much damage King bob -omb would do if he was dropped on a small nation? Like Mario Party, Mario Kart, Mario Baseball, Super Mario Strikers, Mario Hoops, Fortune Street, Mario Golf, Yakuman DS, Super Smash That's Brothers, Yakuman. and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I guess we can thank Camelot for this, or specifically for trying to pitch an Ugly Peach for their game to Nintendo. Would anybody pick Ugly Peach? That's not true. I'd pick Birdo. Never mind. This has remained true within Ugly most Peach. of the spin-offs she's featured. Early on, her voice I is would. pretty timid throughout these spin-off titles. <laughs> but I don't think it's until Deanna Mustard started voicing Daisy where we start to hear that more gruff, tomboyish accent that we hear in Daisy today. Yeah. Yeah. She has a very I tough exterior games, and is shown to be pretty extroverted, which I think is uh, one of the reasons she's liked among Mario fans. But for the most part, Daisy still has the same backstory as Princess of Sarasa Land. There's been a couple of so minor much. references to her father in Mario Party 3 and Fortune Street. What do you mean by that? What? What? <laughs> Who's her dad? Of course, within a lot of these games, there are still hints that Daisy and Luigi Ooh, might be they're a thing, in love and they had Nintendo a daughter! confirm this. For example, if they team up in Mario Party, a couple of their team names are Steady Sweeties and Tango Tanglers. I know many people wonder why Daisy hasn't been featured in mainline Mario games. I think there's a level of favoritism for the characters that Miyamoto helped to create. I don't see this in a petty kind of way, but I wouldn't be surprised if developers were limited in only involving the characters that get his approval in the mainline Super Mario series. I think even Pauline gets more action these days than Daisy. Bro, this guy is popping off! He's like all dressed up all professionally. What if somebody from work sees you? Be humiliated. There's like not even anybody else there. By the way, this festival uh, in Mario Odyssey, one of the coolest like game things in like the, the decade. That shit was so cool. And it's not a secret that Nintendo places strict rules on characters within the Mario universe. The other main reason is- Dude, I forgot about that, that too. In Origami King, when the toads had their faces cut out. Oh my god, that was so scary. Holy shit. The other main reason is that she's not as popular as the others. The famous Japanese messaging platform, Line, performed a Super Mario popularity poll among people ages 10 to 59, Rosalina's and it looked like Daisy life. didn't even break the top 10. In her defense, this is a poll among Japanese audiences only. Yoshi is the most pop- Toad is third most popular? Really? I've no- DK losing is a strategy. I've noticed that, like, you can kind of tell a lot from a person from their favorite, like, Donkey Kong guys can be Wario guys, but Donkey Kong guys are never- Koopa guys. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm a Toad Wario Donkey Kong guy. But I do feel like you can kind of tell somebody. I feel like I could I could guess who somebody picks in Mario Party pretty consistently based on vibes. I really think I could. I think I know it's gamer astrology. I really think I could, dude. I think it's real. Wait, where was Rosalina? Rosalina's above Donkey Kong, dude. Uh
By the way, if you're curious, Yoshi is number one, followed by Mario and Toad. Ooh. There are a few other types of media outside of Mario games that feature Yoshi's Daisy, though. Bait. I showed a little bit before, but there was a Super Mario manga that ran from 1988 to 1998. Yeah, where are we going here? For some reason, Peach disguises herself as a robot and also goes along with Mario I, uh, to where, save Daisy. Uh, this video the really got away from it. covers me. the entire story of... <laughs> According to this Shouldn't entry, this seems this to be where hole. Daisy starts showing interest in Luigi, because my boy here has a natural talent in the game of golf. I'm a Luigi. Don't Number show that. One. Don't show she still that. Has I hated that so much. That period of the internet was god awful. Feelings from Mario and future entries. Don't show that. Though. But there's another volume loosely it's his based thigh. on the events of Super Mario Land 2. Wario and Daisy don't interact at all in that game, but in this manga, he captures her and manipulates her into becoming it's Walu Daisy, leg. an evil version of herself that hypnotizes people into serving Wario. She even I'm manages to turn anatomy class. You take an anatomy class on Mario characters. They don't have genitalia. They're like Ken dolls. That's why none of them ever have children. They're not, they don't have kids. There's no materials. Then where did Rosalina come from? The fucking moon! She's from the stars! She's from the sky! Mona? Who's Mona? <laughs> but I gotta give this manga some credit because it does give Daisy that whole tomboyish character that she is described to have. And since there aren't that many renditions of her around this time, I would this say this is probably one of the about. earliest depictions. Yeah, what's going on such. here, dude? Daisy would also be featured in her very own song from an album called Super Mario Compact Disco. What the? Yo! That's my fucking guy right there. But track 13 is called Save Me With Your Charm. And there's an artist on this particular track that identifies herself as Daisy. Yo, this is Princess Daisy. You're listening to Super Mario Compact She's Disco. She's British? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, it's time. Time. So all my nostalgic 90s Come people here, go check this one out. Help. Last but not least is the 1993 Super Mario Bros. As movie. Princess Daisy is the catalyst that sets off the Mario <laughs> Brothers on their journey into an alternate dimension run by King Bro, Koopa, that's Peach. played this by Dennis so Hopper. Stupid. This Daisy sucks. She's literally just Peach. I always thought it was a weird choice that they picked Daisy to be featured in this movie as the princess instead of Peach, but they did form a romance between her and Luigi in this movie, so apparently they got that part right. But I'm also curious if Daisy will have some kind of cameo in the upcoming Super Mario Brazas film. Anywho, that I is the so. origins of the underutilized Princess Daisy. So let me know your thoughts in I the hope comments. She pops Do you up. think she should play a larger role? Uh, that'd be kind of nice. Well, in mainline Mario titles, or is Daisy no. fine where she is? As I don't care about Daisy. I shouldn't watch this video. This is a mistake.